Hello everybody, I am Brightman19 and welcome to a brand new campaign in EU4. This time we'll be playing Bengal. This was decided by people in the uh, Discord channel. They were allowed to vote uh, all the way down, all the way up from as high as which region to play in, all the way down to which nation in Bengal 1, which is kind of fitting because we start Dharma today. Um, it's actually probably been out about a week uh, about a, maybe about a week and a half actually by the time you guys are seeing this, but uh, we had such a huge amount on the uh, Rule Britannia uh, Britain campaign that we really did need to, uh, you know, we really couldn't get to it until now. But anyway, so we will be working with the Dharma expansion. It, we have every expansion up until that one added in, so just for those of you wondering. And before I get too far into this, I want to make sure that I encourage everybody to be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on these videos if you like them. If you want to see the next ones coming out, the best way to do it is to subscribe and hit that little bell button beside it. That way you get a notification whenever the videos arrive. So, anyways, yes, we are Bengal right here, this nation in blue on the eastern side of India. So, Bengal is a sultanate uh, with a kingdom rank government, and it's in the Indian Technology Group, and it is Sunni. And as I said, it's a sultanate. It has Sultan Nasur Ud Din Mahmud. He is a 433 ruler, and we are sitting at 333 uh, tech. Uh, we get B uh, Bengal Sultanate ideas. Uh, traditions are a national manpower, manpower modifier of plus 15%, and infantry combat ability of plus 10%. And when we get all, uh, all the Bengali ideas, then uh, artillery damage from the back row goes up by plus 15%. So that's pretty awesome. Our ideas are combat coastal piracy, trade efficiency plus 10%, promote Habshi generals, yearly army tradition plus 0.5. That's pretty cool. Clear the delta, development cost minus 10%. I like that one. Um, attract Sufi scholars, idea cost minus 10%. I like that one too. Conquest of the Gangetic. Gangetic Plane, Land Leader Shock, plus one, nice. Begin the Minting of Rupees, National Tax Modifier, plus 10%, yep, speaking my language there, and Bengali Industrialization, Goods Produced Modifier, plus 10%. So we got pretty good ideas, I, I didn't expect that really. Um, anyway, so we start with a country size of 19 provinces, 177 developments, with a fort level of five. So without further ado, let's jump in. Iron Man mode, please, so we can get achievements. Yes, I have one already created just as a placeholder. And we'll get on in. So with Dharma, we have a lot of new changes to the game, specifically in the India region. So uh, we'll be learning that as we go. Here we are, the Sultanate of Bengal, 1444. The Ilya Shahis of Bengal. The Bengal Sultanate won its independence from the Tughluk dynasty of Delhi in a long struggle of diplomacy siegecraft in war warfare. That lasted from 1354 to 1359. Bengal had established itself as a unified and powerful sultanate over the last century. The sultanate's original Ilyas Shahi dynasty uh, been restored by Sultan Nasser Ud Din Mahmud, a capable administrator and a man committed to upholding peace and stability. He has thus far presided over the development of Bengal's cities and the, and the construction of magnificent new mosque. The most pressing foreign threats facing Bengal are the Gajapati Kingdom of Orissa and the Sharki dynasty of Jampur. The Gajapatis command the loyalty of the Garjat tribes, as they traditionally pledge their loyalty to whichever power controls the major coastal cities. If Bengal can defeat the Orissa Kingdom, they might be convinced to extend that same loyalty to the Sultan. Like Bengal itself, the Jhwampur Sultanate broke free from the grip of Delhi, though it has enjoyed its independence only since 1393. Jhwampur controls a vast stretch of the Doab, the great riverine lands of the Ganges. Bengal and Wan and Perkump came to blows as recently as 1420. Though the conflict came to an abrupt end due to the intervention of the Timurid and Ming envoys, many sore issues remain between both nations, and further wars may be inevitable. Relations with the Buddhist sultans of Arakan have fluctuated wildly. In one year, they are the Bengal's loyal subjects. In another, they are ambivalent allies. In yet another, they are a pirate menace. Future relations with Arakan are likely to be guided just as much by circumstance. Bengal is a promising regional hegemon with great potential for expansion. The Bengal tiger may yet become the sovereign of all India. 
And with that said, Bengal Tiger, that is the achievement that we're really after here, and I'll uh, explain that in a minute. As I said earlier, we are Sunni, we are a Bengali Sultanate, or a monarchy, technically, and we're playing in Asia, where we have to worry with the Ming and some other guys. Our big achievement is called Bengal Tiger, and it is probably a medium difficulty, honestly. It's to come to, we have to basically expand and then take Samarkand, um, which is way up here, so we have to go all the way up there. In the meantime, though, I'd really like to just take over all of India while I'm at it. Maybe form Hindustan and then go after it, because it still does apply. Um, there's also a pretty nice little mission tree for Bengal now, thanks to Dharma coming out. So there's a lot of things that we can do to really make ourselves, you know, to, to really get to work building the best thing possible. So anyways, let's go and start doing our normal deal. So we have our enemies, Orissa, Juanpur, Vijayanagar, and Ayataka. So I'm definitely going to make Orissa. They're going to be an early uh, person to go after. I'd like to do Coke, but I can't do it. Um, Arakan would be nice. One pour would probably have to be done. Now I have Ayataya. I can't say these names, guys. I'm going to go ahead and apologize right now. I am not great at these names. I will hopefully get better. I'm sure you guys hope that I get better as well because I am pretty sure I am butchering all of this. Wow. Okay, I can't find these guys at all. Um, How do you spell their name? Ayataya. There they are. Oh, they're way over here. Oh, that's like Thailand and stuff. Okay, and then the rest are like... Janagar, and then there's Bamanas. Okay. Um... You know, I'm okay with them being a rival over there. That's I, I think that's a fine build-out right there. Um, We have a Reconquest, Cassus Belly against Orissa right off the gate. We want to take as much coastline as we possibly can um we're making 4.42 so we'll probably wait a little bit before i add anything there national decisions this is the new policies group you get three administrative policies active at the same time right now so as you can see we'll just in as it goes from military and diplo uh, diplomatic but of course we can't do anything yet because we haven't found any um Let's see, national decisions. I can adopt the title of Khalifa. That moves me 10 t uh, towards legalism and religion. Yes, I want to move towards legalism for national tax modifier, manpower, and technology cost reductions. I really do want to try to get to mysticism at some point, though. Missionary strength plus 3. Morale of armies plus 10% is awesome. And then also getting that extra manpower. So it's kind of a toss-up, whichever, you know, whatever we feel like doing. Uh, legalism is probably the way to go early. Yep, there's another one towards legalism. This is missionary strength versus heretics. Good, I'll be working with this here. Okay, um, unity changes. I'd like to get something that's cheap. That's going to give me quite a bit. You know what, let's just do this for now. Yeah, not everybody believes in being a Sunni right now. Um... Let's see, we can do an, a taxation policy. We can have lenient taxation. For 20 years, you will get a diplomatic reputation plus one. Liberty desire and subjects minus 15%. We can get land acquisition. Core creation costs minus 5% for 20 years. Or we get efficient tax farming. National tax modifier plus 15% for 20 years. Kind of think... Hmm, I like that one. There's a lot of ways we can expand early. I'm going to go for that one now. I, I expect to be expanding pretty quickly. Here's our mission tree. We need to be working towards uh, owning all of Orissa area. Uh, let's see. Military tech of four. Total army size at least 100% of our force limit. And total development at least 200. So that will come over time. Um, all provinces in the Rakhine area. Which is down here, I guess. Let's see. It's really this. Yeah, all provinces in there are owned by me or are non tributaries. We have to have a more equal light ships than 10 and navy size at least 100% force limit. So that's something to look at too. Uh, Coke, that might be a good first one to go after. Coke and Coke Hajo. Just right here. 
have to knock it, you have to conquer the coke. Um, and I'll get a permanent claim on Assam, Trisapura, and Naga Hills. Which are pretty, yeah, up here. Probably be the way I need to go early, just so I can avoid going to war with Ming. By having stuff already in my possession. Um, and then we could do have at least 1,000 gold in a t level 10 workshop. That's not too bad either. So pretty easy stuff. Alright, so. I've been sitting here talking the entire time. I think it's time to get in here and look at these units. Elephants? That's pretty awesome, man. Uh, let's go ahead and send that guy there. Let me go ahead and just bump that up. Um, this is... For Barks, I want to send them there. Do, do, do. It has been a minute since I played, I have to be honest. That's usually how it goes, though. I mean... Oh, let me make sure I turn this on, too. Best guess, please. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Alright. Everybody work along where you need to go, please. Yes, humiliating our rivals. Now then, what can I do here? Um... 12 and 4, it's already really well. Um, all I gotta do is really... Let's see, we have that there. I'm gonna go ahead and add... Let me double check, make sure I have everything like I should. Yeah, come at width of 20. I can add 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 more would get me where I need to be. I'm getting 3.82 per right now, and... Probably should be going for military. Reinforced speed or national? Yeah, we know we're going to go for that. And actually, I'm probably going to go ahead. Whoops. Completely clicked the wrong button. That'll probably happen in a little bit. Yearly inflation reduction or... Do I have anything causing inflation? No, I don't. In that case, we're not even going to worry about that. Um, we're going to go to National Tax Modifier plus 10%. And we will do this Spy Network construction. There we go. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Nothing, not too bad so far. I'm okay with this. Time's going kind of slow. I'm used to being on playing on speed four. I'm just kind of checking things out. There's a lot of new stuff. My Sultan, we have some news to uh, appear to accept the offer. Knowledge sharing. There's more of that. All right. Could I? They have Kachar and Assam. Who is that? Kachar and Assam. So these two guys would come in on his side. I need to find me some friends. Um. Do, 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 um... Is there anybody out there who would... No, not really, um... i like to get some little guys added in. World marriages and allies. Hmm. You know what, let's go ahead and just prove relations with them. That's Patna. There's Garha. They're a vassal of Malwa though, that's not gonna do me any good. Um there's a vassal of somebody else over there. Limbuan. The Buwan, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Oh, these guys are flat out. They are hostile to us. They don't like us at all. What about these? Yeah, they're hostile right now, too. Um, these guys are vassals. Vassal of Orissa. I'd like some vassals of my own. Trying to find guys who are not tributes and would make decent. I just wish I could do that with them. They'd be perfect. Kalahandri. I 
There you go. Everybody needs to be worked on a little bit. If I went down here and declared war on them, I'd be facing off against a ton of people. He's slowly going. Okay. We can raise our manpower up a little bit. That's not such a bad thing to do. We need to go ahead and probably get a general. Ugh, terrible. A 1010. I could have asked the uh probably could have asked the estates for something and got better than that. Um look at all the estates. We have five of them. Let's see. We must protect our trade. Or Local unrest, also trades pow trade power. What are they making there? Hmm. I'm f I'm I'm actually fine with that right there. That's okay. Okay. Move along. So I'm just saying, I mean, he's got no alliances, though. Lots of liberty desire among his subjects. We're only making 0.28 right now. Ducats. Let's go and have these guys start drilling a little. Maybe that'll help them out. Yep, Ayathaya and Tangu are their allies over here. I think we're okay though. And like I said, I want to kind of focus here and then I'm going to start pushing off into this area too. Yep, don't have to reinforce anybody. Claims fabricated. People are wanting to go to war with me, it seems. Alright, um... Yeah, there are these new reform systems. It takes time to build up to be able to reform your government. But you can store up to like I don't know, I think like 100 or something, I don't know, I'm not sure. Or 1400, I'm, I'm not 100% on that. But it does give you corruption whenever you do that kind of stuff, so you gotta be very careful. I like to give these guys some good drill. Let's go ahead and increase the speed here. Let time pass. We can't really see a whole lot of the world. We can see all of India, Southeast Asia, the Arabian Peninsula, Persian areas, and of course East Africa. That's really all we get to see. Well, some of Indonesia, I guess, counts. Manas are going after Gujarat early. Ducats are prestige. Hmm. I'll take the ducats actually. Come on, manpower. Let's see, this guy is in Bastar, and we got guy in Patna too. Moving towards free legalism. Um. Could probably get that. Oh no, I can't. They're neutral. Okay, what about the star? 
Ah, uh, they're neutral about me too. So is Ratanpur. Well, they wouldn't do it. These guys wouldn't do it anyway. But they would do alliances. Click here. What? Wow, okay. Well, Patna just screw me kind of there. Um, these guys reached out, they got some, they got allies, and now that kind of screwed me. Um, Nice, okay. Let me take a look, see if I can find anybody to do some work with, maybe for... I guess, I mean, I could work with Delhi. Who is Delhi? Malwa. They don't like Wampur either. Still an alliance, Adam. Um... I can have up to four anyway, so... Who else would be good? Um... Who is this? Oh, that guy, ugh. Not really where I'd want him to be, he's not really that big, um... There's this tear hut guy, let's go ahead and ally him. He could be a vassal. Got three or four right now. I will be able to at least vassalize two of them, I think. Yep, you had to go like Arissa. I can't believe you did that. Um, Malwa, probably not going to be able to work with. Yeah, because of Delhi. Hmm. Oh, they're not going to work with me either. Uh, da, 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 da. Garha, can you do anything? No. Finding allies is hard. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. where is this you? Who is you? These guys? That's not a bad idea. Perfect, there we go. Um, Royal Mirrors with Tear Hut, good. The 351. We're gonna improve relations here, start, work, start working towards that vassalization. Very least, I'm just gonna get some nice friends out of this. Yep. I can't vassalize them yet. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to allies, please. Okay, there's no way I can vassalize, but I can make them all really good friends in the meantime. And uh, get some use out of them. Or eventually get use out of them. Declared war, what happens? All those in Retempor joins too. Not worth it. Um, let's go ahead. There's Tsang. Who's that guy? The big guy. Can't do that then. Um, 
You're working with Sadia, who's up there. Got Kachar. Assam and Kok. Ooh. That kind of brings those guys in. Let's go ahead and start building a spy network on him. And we'll go ahead and build the spy network on him. We'll go ahead and get two of them going. That way I can get these guys all in a war. So, all right, guys, I am going to go ahead and end it right here. But not bad for a first episode. I know nothing really big happened, but we did get started. We uh, we do see our first hits, and it's these uh, three guys right here. So, all right, guys, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Be sure to check out the uh, link for Discord in the description below, and I will see you all next time.